Greetings, folks, and welcome to Final Therapy Sessions, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Retro Toys Edition Funko Pops. I am your host, Coco Smooth. And yes, as the thumbnail tells you, this is the, this is the Ninja Turtle collection we got going on here. Uh, I was wanting to do this video a long time ago. The only problem was... I was short a couple of pieces and they finally all came. So now I feel like I could do this video because it's the whole the whole set, right? So let's start off with the leader, Leonardo. Now here's the thing. I know it says retro toys, right? But if it really did try to follow the retro toys, they would have given it the the retro toy colors for the actual weapons and that would be brown and not this either way it's cool whatever's you know if, they, if that's what they were going for the accurate for a retro toy accuracy um some some parts of it is accurate but not really even this casey jones as you can tell was not from the toy this is more movie than than toy but i see what they did here anyways yeah leonardo leader <laughs> Right, and then number 17, Donatello with his bow staff. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, and he doesn't. I remember the retro toys, they were they had different shades of uh color too, like some were darker than others. I believe Donatello was one of the darker ones. Mm -hmm. I only owned, I believe, you know, Leonardo, Don, and Raft didn't own Michelangelo. Um, and here, speaking of which, no, oh, too out of order, too bad. Um, Raphael, the size. Yep. You know, the red and the size. And, and it, it doesn't have the the letters also on their, their belts like the toys do. Would, I think it would have said an R and an L and a D. For, to identify if, if I remember correctly my memory has been hasn't been the best but I think it was a kid I remember that at least and this was Michelangelo he was okay but man I really would have preferred him to actually have done an action pose with his uh, nunchucks than to have him eating pizza um, maybe they'll do a chase version with him you know actually doing that instead of eating a pizza because, you know, it looked more like a movie scene than it did a retro toy scene, you know. <laughs> Next up, Casey Jones. And yes, this looks more like it, Elias Kateas, you know, version versus the homeboy wearing sweats and, a, you know, golf bag in the, in, in the toy. You know what I mean? And Casey Jones as a toy had a crazy haircut, not long hair like this, but it's whatevs. Still a good Casey Jones. We don't get it. I think it's more movie than anything. And the irony is that they're they're doing a movie one for Turtles too. Um, next up, this was a Target exclusive Metalhead, and yeah, it's pretty. It's it's kind of accurate. Yeah, not if to 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 the to the toy. Looks great, and it looks like it's got gold paint. I love it. And look, see, they gave. How did they give him a? A T in the, but none of the others, uh, a letter on their belts. I don't know. Am I wrong, guys? If I'm following, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Leave it in the comment section. <laughs> and next up, April O'Neil. Yes. This one is probably my most favorite of the bunch because this looks good. And I think, and I'm just a sucker for redheads, you know. So, yeah, look. Mm -hmm. This one's more cartoon accurate, and of course the toys were closer to the, were based more loosely on the cartoon than anything. And yeah, I like this look because it's obvious that April didn't look like that in the gosh dang movie. And last but not least, Master Spenta, the toy version. Look, he did, and this does look more accurate to what he looks like as a toy. Only thing missing is his bow. <laughs> He had a bow and he'd shoot you with a bow. But yeah, Master Splinter also looks like a Target exclusive. Um, so yeah, Master Splinter. 
Yeah, he's the closest thing to being him and Metalhead are the closest thing to being toy accurate. And so I guess by default, so does April O'Neil. And yeah, this this is the the entire set. Look, it's it's complete until they come up with another set of characters in this you know the retro toys lineup. All right, folks, that's all I got for this segment of Vinyl Therapy Sessions, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Retro Toys Funko Pop Edition. I am your host, Coco Smooth, and until next video, ciao.